Josh Wright after the Wolves done two absolute one. First of all, Josh, you've come off there after 18 minutes of time added on, you know, temperatures in the 30s. What was it like out there? Um, oh, to be honest with you, first half, I've been in the game quite long. It was probably the, the hottest and toughest conditions I've ever had to play. And I don't know why, maybe I've played in that sort of heat or similar, but it felt very sticky and muggy. But look, it was the same for both sides. It was very difficult. Half time was refreshing when it came, but you just can't cool down even inside. And obviously there was a long time added on, but we were just focused on getting at least the equaliser at that point. So heat and everything else went out the window. All that had cooled down by then and just frustrated because there was time added on and there was decisions and there was things going on. There was all sorts going on. It seems to be getting madder and madder and more crazy every single week at the moment. But look, it is what it is. Heat aside, we've been beat 2-1 uh, and we're disappointed. We're gutted especially after getting back into it at one on and we had a big chance up this end to, to nick it 2-1, take the lead and they go down the other end and what happens, happens and look, it's frustrating and we're on a bit of a run where we're on a high, on a low, on a high, on a low and we need to level out a little bit and, and that's what we're planning to do. We've got a lot of games coming up uh, starting next Saturday and then they come thick and fast and maybe that's an opportunity to play a lot of games and to try and maybe level out and maybe the words call it level or steady but find that balance and and start picking up some more wins along with maybe some draws but try and stay unbeaten for a little while and, and, and climb the table again. You scored to pull the fleet level at one apiece. Uh, it was a great delivery from Craig Tanner wasn't it from the corner? Great delivery yeah. Uh, Tanner has got that. He's got that uh, quality in open play and from set plays and uh, I've known him now for a while and uh, I know where he's going to put the ball and Obviously, we, we peeled off and I found the space and I was only going to go into that area and it was pinpoint and uh, obviously I've got my head on it and see it fly into what looked like near the top corner. So I was pleased, obviously, at that point. But I'd swap that and take a goal away to get at least a point here, if not three points, and, and, and rather not score and get that. But look, it's nice on a personal note to get that goal. But as I say, I'd rather the points. But you also conceded the penalty um, to put you 2-1 behind and, and you lost Chris Solly at that point. Now, there was still a lot of game to be played. You didn't know there was going to be 18 minutes to play at the end mm. of the game. But, I mean, down to 10 men, that must have been so difficult. It was difficult. And I felt that, I don't know what it looked like to you, but I thought Souls kept caught him outside the box. They're saying that it was inside the box. Obviously, I, I was up against, like, I come close to him. I think even Hayden White. And I think he's given the foul against Souls, uh, saying it was the last one, but there was obviously a combination. I don't know where it was. I don't know if it was in or out. But it was gutting, it was hard, and obviously to lose your skipper. And uh, obviously Souls at the back was a big blow regardless, and the fact it was him as well. And to go down to 10 men in this heat chasing, it's very difficult, it was hard. I'm gasping now, and I'm, uh, I'm, we're all dehydrated. But look, it's part and parcel of football. We haven't had much hot weather this summer through pre-season and the start of the season, so it seems like it's all come on one day. And uh, yeah, it's frustrating, it is frustrating because I've just said there, I don't want to say too much, but I've just said to the group then that I feel if we have a bit more belief that we can actually achieve something in this division, you know, because I think we've proved that we can mix it, we can, we can turn up and we can actually do something in this division and how high and what, width, what that can be, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, but I think it's there for us, I think we've proven that and uh, we've got a big opportunity here to, to achieve something and be successful and do something that would be amazing for this football club, for the fans, for the owners, the staff, everyone, the players, everyone associated. And if we can just believe a bit more and uh, start realising that, hang on, OK, it's not last season, it isn't the division below, but we've still got a big chance. And uh, I think if we can find that, I think we'll be OK. Starting next week against Chesterfield, which is a big game by any standards, but uh, against the side that are probably the favourites to win the league. I mean, that's going to be a good test. Absolutely, they are the, the big boys of the division. I've probably played against them, I wouldn't maybe not double, well, possibly double figures home and away, but I've played them many a time in my career in the Football League and they are a big club. They're a big stadium, big fan base uh, with good history. And listen, they'll be coming to us next Saturday and they'll know what we're about and uh, they'll be knowing they're in for a tough game. And we're obviously going to know and we're going to do our due diligence on them throughout the week. The gaffer will give us every bit of detail possible on the screen from himself but also out on the training field and we'll work extremely hard all week to uh, prepare ourselves right for that game and uh, Chesterfield or whoever it might be coming to our place is going to be a tough game for them 
and we'll take the game to them and we'll have every belief, is that word, I'm going to say belief again, that we can get something out of the game and get back on track and uh, hopefully kick on there with a lot of games, as I said earlier on, coming up. Well, good luck next week and uh, let's hope you get that win you're looking for. Thank you. Cheers.